So we will continue again with the lesson number 1, knowing our numbers. And uh, in the last video, I completed the shifting of numbers. Now further we will continue with the large numbers in use. Now every, in our daily use, we, uh, we come across all these measurements which I have written on the board over here. That is kilometers, liters, milligrams, grams, centimeters, etc. So the, this concept, this measurement is uh, very necessary in your daily routine. It is very uh, so. Yeah, it is necessary for every, everybody to understand all the all the measurements which are given on the board and the students have to see to the that they uh, learn learn all these measurements by heart. So uh, with the based on this uh, uh, we are we will be solving the uh, word problems also. Now here for uh, here I have given uh, given the measures, I will just repeat it for you all. Now your one k one kg is one thousand grams, one gram is one thousand milligram. 1 kilometer is 1000 meter, 1 meter is 100 centimeter, 1 centimeter is 10 millimeter, 1 kiloliter is 1000 liter and 1 liter is equal to 100 milliliter. Now this, this, uh, in this, this measurement, this measurements we always come across in our daily, daily routine. At home also you see with your parents uh, when they are going for market or buying the milk and all you come to this the measurements. So it is necessary that you see to it that you learn all these measurements and in your future higher classes, classes also you should know these measurements. Now based on these measurements here I have given you one word problem and I will help you to solve it, solve the, solve this one pro, uh, word problem. Now here it is given one, one, a toy factory produces three, three toys in a second. Now how many toys will you, will it produce in an hour? Now this, this is based on time also. So a part of this measurement we come across the time and rupees and paise also in the measurement. So here we are using the time. Now first when we writing words, uh, when we write word problem, we always start with the statement. For word problem you have to write the statement. So what is there given in the word problem that you will first write it down over here. Now here first it is given a toy produces three three toys in a second. So number of toys. So number of toys produced in one second. Now to find the number number of toys produced in an hour, that in one hour, first first you will see now one hour is equal to 60 minutes. Now convert this minutes into seconds. So 60 minutes. Sorry, one. And one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So now so number of toys produced in one second is, uh, is equal to three toys. So now to find the number of toys produced in an hour, first we will find the uh, units. So first uh, one hour is equal to 60 minutes. Now one minute is equal to 60, uh, 60 seconds. So how many uh, in 60 minutes? 60 minutes means one hour. So how how many uh, how many seconds are there in one hour? So it will be 60 minutes is equal to 60 multiplied by this 60 second is equal to 3,600 seconds. 3,600 seconds. So now number of toys. produced in one hour is equal to now how many toy toys are produced three three multiplied by number of seconds that is three thousand six hundred so it is equal to ten thousand eight hundred toys ten thousand eight hundred toys so here I, I think everybody must have understood how to how to do the solution of this but based on this, the, with these other measurements also, by doing the conversion, we can for, we can solve the various word problems with the help of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now we will continue with the conversion sums. Now uh, to convert convert uh, into meters into centimeters. Now meter is a la larger measurement. So to convert the larger measurement into smaller measurement, we always do multiplication. Same way now if you want to convert the smaller into smaller measurement into larger measurement, we always do the division. 
So here first we will take 2500, uh, 256 meter into millimeter. So now as we know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. Same way 1 centimeter is equal to 10 mm. So now 100 centimeter means 100, 1, 1 meter. So 100 centimeter is equal to 100 multiplied by 10 millimeter is equal to 1000 millimeter. That means now 100 centimeter means 1 meter. So therefore 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeter. Now we have to find 256 meter. So 256 meter is equal to 256 multiply by 1000 is equal to 2,56,000 millimeter. Same way now we will do the uh, uh, conversion of centimeter into meter. Now here 1 centimeter is equal to 1 upon 100 meter. So therefore 54,800 centimeter is equal to 54,800 upon 100. Now 100 is there, so these two zeros, we, we can cut these two zeros. So therefore 548 meter. So always remember, when we are doing the conversion from greater number to smaller cell number, we always do the multiplication and then from smaller number to greater number, we always divide. I hope you have understood the, 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 large, the conversion of this large, num large numbers. Next we come to the estimation uh, estimation of numbers. Now you have come across the word of esti estimation. Sometimes you see at, at your uh, house and all better uh, your parents uh, ask for estimation. Now you suppose you want to make furniture, so they ask the, ask the carpenter for the estimation for, for the uh, uh, estimation for the amount which they are going to use for the uh, going to use for that furniture. So the uh, carpenter gives them a rough idea that amount. So suppose it is two two to three thousand or three to four thousand. So they will give a rough idea of the number. So that that means he is giving estimation. Means he does not give the exact amount, but he gives only the approximate value. So the approximately near about near number, or you can call it as the rounded off number also. So today in the so here in estimation of numbers today I'll explain uh, about the the rounded off number the nearest number. Now before understanding the uh, estimation first you uh, uh, first we will understand the strong numbers and the the, uh, the strong and the uh, uh, strong numbers and the weak numbers. Now we will the numbers like 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now these are the, these are the strong numbers. The strong, uh, strong numbers there are, uh, are the numbers which push the number the uh, uh, given before number they push the number to the next number. Whereas weak numbers are there where that is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. These numbers do not uh, do not push the number the, but the value of the number remains as it is. So the, now uh, with, with the help of this we will try to understand the number rounded of nearest 10. Now here the first example I have given is 78. Now when, when, when we are giving it the number 78. So for, for finding out the, the nearest 10, always we have to see to the unit uh, unit value. Now unit value here it is given, here the uh, unit value is 8. Now 8 it, it, it is a whether strong number or big number, it is a strong number. So when, when the values are given 8, so this 8 from this 8 worth 1 should be added to the number in the tens place. So here the 1, uh, 7, 7 will become 8. And the, and the number 8 is replaced by 0. So the nearest number for 78 is 80. Same way now I will take the second example 547. Here also now 7, 7 again it in the unit place is 7. 7 is the, again the uh, uh, strong number. So strong number so here you will add a uh, 1 will be added to the number in the tens place. So here it will be uh, 7, uh, 4, 4, this 5 will be as it is. 
in the hundreds place now tens place will become now from 7 1 will be added so it will become 5 and the 7, the 7 will be replaced by 0 so it will become 500 so 547 is nearest to 550 the next number is 6583 now 3 again it is a specific number so 6 uh, year number 5 6, uh, 6580 and 3 uh, will be replaced the number will not be added uh, to the tens place because it is a weak number so 3 will be replaced by 0 so it will be 6588 so 6583 is nearest to 6580 now with the same concept we will we'll, uh, try to understand the nearest 100 or the rounded off to 100 so now the concept will be same but only here the place, place value if you have to see in the tens place for tens uh, for finding out the tens we see the unit place for, uh, for hundreds uh, for nearest hundred we have to see the tens place so now here the tens place is 7 7 again it is the strong number so 1 will be added to the number in the hundreds place so it will be 2 100. Now this 7 will be replaced by 0. Also the unit place will be the replaced by 0. So it will be 178 is nearest to 200. Same way now in the second, second example. Now here it is 5, uh, 519. So 1 tens place is given 1. 1 is again uh, uh, the, uh, one is again big number so no number will be added here so it will be 5 as it is in the hundreds place Once plus 1 is, will be replaced by 0 9 also will be replaced by 0 so 519 is nearest to 500 same way now here 9, uh, nine is given Na, 9 is given in the tens place so now here now 1 will be added to 5 so it will be and then tens place and the unit place will be replaced by 0. So, 3596 is nearest to 3600. Now, same way will come to nearest 1000. Now, nearest 1000 also here we will see the place value for hundreds place. So, now here 5. 5 again is a strong number. So, here it will be 5. Uh, 1 will be added to 4. So, 5000. Now here it will have uh, uh, units, uh, this hundreds place will be replaced by 0, tens place and units place will be replaced by 0. So 4580 is nearest to 5000. Same with the next example is again here it is here units place, here the units place, uh, here the hundreds place again it is 1. 1 is a weak number so now num there will be no change in the thousands place. So 6 down 1 will be replaced by 0, 7 replaced by 0, 6 replaced by 0, so 6000. 6176 uh, is nearest to 6000. Now same way, now estimation, estimation of the sums. Now here, here it is, here also. Now you have to see which uh, according to the numbers. Now here it is given units, tens, hundreds and tens. And here, here it is 3 digit number, here it is 4 digit number. Now here this, this can be go, taken to nearest uh, near, uh, nearest 100 sorry near, uh, yeah nearest 100 only you can do so here for nearest 100 we always see the tens place so here it is 3 so now 3 again it is the smaller uh, smaller uh, weak number so there will be no change so 7 7 will be as it is 3 is replaced by 0 and 4 is replaced by 0 so 700 same way here or here also the tens place is 5 so to, uh, now here uh, 5 is again the uh, strong number so 1 will be added to 3 so 2400 so 700 plus 2400 so 3100 so this way we have the addition you can be carried forward according to the place where uh, play, places you can see and according to that you will uh, esti do the estimation so the estimated value of 7334 is 700 plus 2355 is 200 and 2400 this way, this way we can do the solution of addition same way in multiplication now here it is given 22 multiplied by 398 now 22 again it is you have to check the units place here also it will be go, go taken to nearest 10 so unit place is 2 2 again it is a weak number so here the value will be 20 multiplied by now 3 uh, 398 now 8 is a uh, 8 in the unit place again so you will carry uh, add 1 to 9 the, in the number in the tens place so now here it is 10 
so 10 again 1 will be carry for carried forward so 3 will become 4 and 9s and 10s uh, and 100s uh, place will be replaced by 0 so 20 multiplied by 400 is 8000 2 fours are 8 and add this 3 zeros so you will get 8000 so I, I, I hope you understood, uh, understood the estimation of the numbers to nearest 10, 100 and 1000. Now we will continue with the Roman numbers. Now in Roman numbers we already know this 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, 1000. These numbers which we are always using, they, these are known as the Indo-Arabic number. Now these numbers, the numbers are replaced by the uh, uh, Roman numbers. Now Roman numbers here are given. Now they, they, these numbers is 1, for the V is used for 5, X, L, C, D and M. These are the Roman numbers used for this number. So 1, 5, 10, 50, L is for 50, C is for 100, D is for 500 and M is for uh, 1000. These, these are the Roman numerals. Now before, before writing the numbers into Roman numerals, we have certain rules to be followed. Now rules to, rules to be rules to be for, for uh, rules to follow to write the numerals now your first rule is given if if a symbol is repeated again and again see its value is added now here i have taken uh, taken for example one one, uh, one i have taken three times so one two three so the value of uh, value is three times same way this is ten again ten and again ten so ten ten three times so it is thirty now the second value is that if a symbol can, can't be or cannot be repeated for more than three three times. Here I have already you I have explained here. Three times are added, but four times you cannot be four more than four. So it cannot be added more than three times. Whereas we uh, this symbol five L and D this cannot uh, can never be repeated. Now when you, when a symbol of a smaller value is written on the right side of the greater value then the value of the smaller symbol gets added to the greater value now here i have given the example now this symbol x stands for 10 and this is 1 so this 10 plus 1 is 11 so the smaller smaller value is added to the greater value same way here 6 now here this symbol is for 5 and this is 1 so this is 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 Okay, now the fourth point is when a smaller value is written on the left the left side of the greater value then the value of the smaller symbol is subtracted from the uh, great, uh, greater symbol. Now here I have given one example. Now here it is given uh, uh, here 1 and this is 10. So the smaller symbol is subtracted from the greater symbol. So 10 minus 1 is 9. Same way here the, uh, the 10 and here 50. So 50 minus 10 is 40. Now same way here is the example the example how to how to write uh, write uh, the numerals for the given roman numbers and from the uh, from the number to write in roman numerals now here it is given now here first first symbol x is for 10 plus 10 and now this this is 9 already i told you from the greater the smaller one is subtracted so 9 so 10 plus 10 plus 9 is 29 same way now the 63 which is given in uh, indian number you have to write in roman number now 60 60 we cannot write it directly so now here l stands for 50 so 50 uh, plus 10 60 plus 3 3 times 1 so see that uh, it will be 50 plus 10 plus 3 so 63 I hope all the today what I have explained, uh, explained about the estimation, estimation uh, larger numbers and the Roman numerals will uh, help you have understood properly. So the exercise 1.2 is given. So see that see to it that you have solved that exercise, solve that exercise 1.2 in your classwork. Have a nice day. Thank you.